ഇപ്പൊ ഇന്ന് നമ്മുടെ കൂടെ ഗസ്റ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ആൾ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഈസ് ദ ഫൗണ്ടർ ആൻഡ് സിഇഒ ഓഫ് ട്രിനിറ്റ് സൊല്യൂഷൻ ഈസ് ദ കോ ഫൗണ്ടർ ഓഫ് ക്രോഫൽ and the chief design officer of tangle to 16 years karnana please give us a gist of your journey like uh, how did you learn python java graphic design and it's all without going to any university or something right so i then i heard that you had started creating app uh, i think at the age of 9 did you find your age as a challenge obviously uh, i think that that i think that was totally like one of the biggest challenge you know can you just suggest a uh, few steps like how the students of our age can utilize uh, this internet and digital gadgets for earning something uh, from a very small age you have started earning a lot i mean i don't think so i'm the perfect person to give an advice this thing is malayalam kavitha malayalam kavitha no let's let's not do that here അതിനു വ്യക്തമായ ഒരു മറുപടി നൽകാൻ പറ്റുന്ന ഒരു സ്ഥലം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോഷ്യൽ മീഡിയ ആണെന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഹലോ ഗൈസ് ബ്ലാഗാ വിത്ത് സ്റ്റാർസിന്റെ പുതിയൊരു എപ്പിസോഡിലേക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും സ്വാഗതം ഇപ്പൊ ഇന്ന് നമ്മുടെ കൂടെ ഗസ്റ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ആൾ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഈസ് ദ ഫൗണ്ടർ ആൻഡ് സിഇഒ ഓഫ് ട്രിനിറ്റ് സൊല്യൂഷൻ is the co-founder of Crawford and the chief design officer of Tangle. So, everyone who knows what they are doing, I think, you know, this guy may be slightly older. In the episode, I have a question for you. I don't know if you have a question for me. I don't know if you have a question for me. But no, guys. I don't know if you have a question for me. In fact, I would love to call him a genius. So, without any further delay, we welcome Aditya and Rajesh to our show. Hi Arithyan how are you Hello Arithya how are you uh thank 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 you so much for having me it's it's totally a pleasure yeah. I'm so just something to correct I'm I'm not 60 yet I'm just 50 <laughs> <laughs> Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah so can you just give us a gist of your journey like uh how did you learn python java graphic design and it's all without going to any university or something right uh how did you learn these things Mhm I think it is pretty much a uh, you know kick uh, I think it is pretty much a long lead journey you know I I grew, I grew up in a traditional Indian family and household and I think when I was around 6 uh, years old um, I I saw a computer for the first time in my house and uh, a sudden evening I I sort of just cracked into the computer and it just ran into some issues and I wanted to somehow figure out and you know play with it and I just went to YouTube I cracked the password and i so i saw like a spark you know i felt like this was my thing i i felt interesting and i realized that was the day i realized computers were my thing so you know ever after that i i always wanted to i mean my my goal was never to become an entrepreneur i always just wanted to become a software engineer but the point is that i didn't want to wait until i was you know 18 or 19 to go to engineering college to then get a degree i wanted to do something and i wanted to do it right away and i did it <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Sure. So, I think I heard that you had started creating app, uh, I think, at the age of nine. Just to, you know, beat boredom, am I right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, at what particular age did you think that, you know, I must stop creating apps just for myself or, you know, just as a hobby. Now, I must start creating apps for people, for the public to use. At what age did you find this, you know, you got this revelation? I think uh, I was around 13, you know, I was around 13 years old. So as any 13-year-old, I was super bummed about and I started applying to a bunch of different jobs online. And after school, to earn some pocket money, I, I think I pretty much, uh, you know, pretty much over the, over the, over the few years, I, I've had many minimum wage jobs that, that's mostly just online. Any team that you could get. Anything from um, sales, telemarketing, or tutoring, assistance. I, I did almost every single job. And... One thing kept happening over and over again. I kept getting fired or quitting from every single job. So, you know, um, I was always doing like a 10-hour job or a specific hard job. And, and I, there was this one single thing I realized, you know, see, so here I was unable to work on 10 hours a week. I became terrified of the idea of doing that for the rest of my life when I got an engineering degree and worked for someone else. And I made this conscious decision where I was like, I'm never going to work for anyone else because it's purely suck. You know, and at, at 13, I was like, um, I've got to do something to prove myself that I don't need a job ever again. And 
I set uh, set out and made the decision to be an entrepreneur and work on myself. And I I totally haven't regretted it to the date. Are there any point or for any reason did you find your age as a challenge? Mm. Obviously, uh, I think that that I think that is totally like one of the biggest challenge. You know, like uh, I, I think lacking the resources was uh, less thing. and i mean i mean my age is a barrier was the main issue so you know wherever i go in any it even i attend any workshop or even a session i do you know people won't always look at what i'm doing or what i'm presenting they'll always just look at how old i am and why am i lost and they just mostly you know look at I'm, i'm not talking about everybody but in a common perspective that's the view so that's one thing people just sort of need to work on and okay Not only me, but all the viewers out there would love to know about your app called Dinero. I don't know whether if you have mentioned about this app, you know, in any other place. But it's a financial assistance app, right? Am I right? Right, right, right. So what I wanted to know was that did you create this app for a particular client, or have you made this, uh, you know, open for public? Actually, it's it's not a public app uh, because I I actually attended a competition. I think. um around 2 year 2 3 years, years ago so and uh, it was with a few of my friends who were like my same age and but i was the only developer there so so and they were all just doing design or uh, you know say it's kind of job and i we basically wanted to do something sort of unique and that would actually add value to the people of our age so we wanted to i think th- there's a lot of things like this right now the con- same concept of dinero there's a lot of people who have pushed it out right now so it was basically like a a very simple um, application to do online payments and transactions and you know make sure children are having the saving ability at a very young age so that that was the point of point of the app so okay okay and till now how many apps have you created within this short period i worked on my first app uh, as a browser and then i worked on dinero and i think most of the projects i worked on was either Really private, or I made it for my own, you know, personal purposes. So most of them I haven't released it yet to the place. But something exciting and something that sort of aligns with, uh, you know, my passion is what I'm working on right now. You know, which is helping other people get some sorted and stuff that is like a a company called Tangle. You know, what I do with that business is it's 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 basically like an online learning platform, almost like an alternative to school. You know, where we teach people instead of handing them a degree or a piece of paper when they're done so it's uh, it's 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 more so giving giving people actual tangible skills actual tangible knowledge that they can be actually implemented immediately so we we te- we have like uh, different teachers from different parts of the world who are successful in their own fields and and they show that uh, they show them how to learn different kind of skills which aren't really taught in schools so the next thing that one like you know is that your company right connect solutions yes can you tell me about some you know clients that your company is working with at the moment i most of the people have signed an nnc with me which means i can't really tell out but i think i recently most recently worked with microsoft i'm actually an upcoming intern at microsoft as well as a software engineer at that time so i have a question i hope it does okay okay sure. as a like, young like one of the proud people i could point out yeah yeah as a younger developer or entrepreneur in middle east and as a ceo of a trinet solutions company uh, can you just suggest a uh, few steps like how the students of our age can utilize uh, this internet and digital gadgets for earning something uh from a very small age you have started earning a lot i mean i don't think so i'm the perfect person to give an advice because i myself don't think i've, I've done everything yet and i'm still at times an ordinary teen who watches movies and plays video games to go play soccer with my friends but i think the biggest piece of advice if i could ever give is that you know i can probably give to somebody that's thinking that they they already is doing the lines of the concept of being smarter not harder so you know whether when it comes to investing money it could be like eggs into different baskets things like that a lot of people have this perception that you know so um 
any income stream that I create is going to require me to work so much harder to make it many more things. But I think one of the biggest things that I've done over the years is delegating is amazing, right? You can't be Superman who and, and do everything that even though you want to, you can't. So as long as you can figure out what, what are your strengths and what your best at and what your weakness is, things like you don't have to do and you know plug in people for those things. So that will not only keep you sane, but will also keep your investment sane too sane. So, yeah, I think it's a great thing and it will allow you to not only create uh, more income streams, but you know, keep your sanity as well. Okay, this can I just sing a Malayalam Kavita? <laughs> Malayalam Kavita? <laughs> no, let's, let's not do that here. Folks, <laughs> oh, just gonna do that. Uh, no, no, no. Let me tell you one thing. It sang a Surya song in the first episode of our you know, series blah blah with stars. <laughs> and to be honest, the fans are not done with it. The fans are like, please, do not do this again. Please, please don't do this again. <laughs> yeah. Well, give me a chance. Give me a chance. No, no, no. We're not going to do that. Let's forget it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You are a everyday and a stomach in the world. There will be the summer of Pandal in a garden in the Lalo. Amere Ashubutri radical in a garden in the Lalo. Kalyana Pandalilum in a garden in the Lalo. Is that a Kavida? Again, another day, Kavida came in another day. How was it? That is good. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not അതിൽ പറയുന്നത് പോലെ ഈ യുവാക്കൾ എവിടെയാണ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ യൂത്ത് യങ്സ്റ്റേഴ്സ് എവിടെയാണ് അസ്തമിച്ചു പോകുന്നത് എന്നൊരു ചോദ്യം ഇന്നത്തെ തലമുറയിൽ നമ്മുടെ സൊസൈറ്റിയിൽ റൈസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഒരു ചോദ്യമാണ് എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നു അതിന് വ്യക്തമായ ഒരു മറുപടി നൽകാൻ പറ്റുന്ന ഒരു സ്ഥലം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോഷ്യൽ മീഡിയ ആണെന്ന് പറയുന്നത് റൈറ്റ് സോ ആദിത്യ വളരെ യങ് സ്റ്റേജ് മുതൽ ഈ ഗാഡ്ജറ്റ്സും ഒക്കെ യൂസ് ചെയ്യാൻ തുടങ്ങി ആൻഡ് നൗ യു ആർ സി ഇ ഓഫ് എ കമ്പനി ഓക്കെ So, uh, especially when online classes are going to be done. But, uh, these digital gadgets, how can you use it as a student? How can you use it as a student? How can you use it as a student? I think, see, uh, with everything, that's one of the things that are really good. There comes a negative ability, you know. So, if, if you just look at the negative sides of things, nothing is going to work out. So, I think the only advice I could give you is just make sure you look everything from a positive perspective. You know, whatever the thing is, you know, whatever what, or like, whether it's social media or your phone or the amount of you know, capability technology provides us with, I think just make sure you use it for just, just for the positivity, you know, especially the fact you told about youth. I think 25% of India is just the youth, just the people out of it, under the age of 25, you know, just people of your and my age, just you and I. consisting of 25% of India. So I think we have a really good power and you know, if everyone comes together for the good being of the country, it, it could contribute to a uh, much, 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 uh, what do you say, much well-being of the country. Okay, okay. If you want to talk about it, we will talk about it in the English language. If you want to talk about it, you will talk about it in Malayali, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. 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 but now he is the youngest ceo in middle east <laughs> yeah okay aditya yeah, yeah thank you for spending this much time with us uh, yeah thank you all right my pleasure yeah catch you in the next one yeah fine yeah thank you